Okay, here we are with lesson two. That is lesson two, power quality test instruments. All the answers for this lesson will be found in chapter four of your test instruments and applications textbook. You should do the quiz in the blended learning website. And I will be going over the Socrative that was assigned to you. So in this Socrative, we are going to have a number of questions and we will get into that right now. Question one is harmonics are caused by blank. Now, if you remember from the Transformers lesson, uh, harmonics are caused by nonlinear loads. Harmonics are found in on page 181 in your book. Uh, in the second paragraph or second column has harmonics in the title. In the second paragraph it states that harmonics are a problem whenever there are a large number of personal computers and other nonlinear loads drawing current in short pulses. Other things that cause harmonics are LEDs uh, and fluorescent lights. That's one of a, the large causes for harmonics in a system. Next up we have a blank is a test instrument that can give a visual display of voltage fluctuation. That will be a oscilloscope. An oscilloscope shows the waveform of a circuit and you can use it to view uh, the distortions in the waveform. You can find oscilloscope uh, look up in the index to find oscilloscope where it actually talks specifically about the oscilloscope. If a high voltage leg exists on a three phase circuit, it should be identified by the color orange. This one is actually in your code book. Uh, I'm sure it's in this book as well. Uh, and it is high leg identification in your code book. Uh, and that's a common knowledge type question that you should just know. The blank is the best test instrument to use when measuring the amount of total harmonic distortion on a line. That is the power analyzer meter. So I would look up total harmonic distortion first. So let me do that. Total harmonic distortion is found on page 184 and on the next column over is harmonic measurement procedures and you will find whenever you read through that talks about using a power analyzer meter to read total harmonic distortion again that's power analyzer meter. a leading power factor can be corrected by adding blank banks to the power lines we haven't uh, we haven't gotten to this in the AC theory. Well, we had started to touch on it. It was inductors cause a leading power factor, and you use capacitors to cancel them out. The next question is harmonic distortion will be the greatest when measured at, and this is the individual nonlinear loads. You can find this where one of those previous questions was page 184, Harmonic Measurement Procedures, and it reads word for word what the question is. It's in that first paragraph of that section. Next, the amount of heat produced by an electrical component is the blank of the infrared meter reading and the ambient temperature reading. This is the difference uh, and, and that will be this one will be found on page 169 
uh, down towards the bottom. It's like the very last thing on the page. Uh, and it's word for word this question. It's this whole page is talking about infrared meters and it will tell you it talks about infrared meter temperature meter measurement procedures. Next, when compared to voltage swells, transient voltages will have a transient voltages are a couple page back. Transient voltages are found on page 179. And uh, a transient voltage is also known as a voltage spike. So just knowing that, a voltage swell ver versus a voltage spike, uh, a spike will have a steeper rise time. That's in the second paragraph, second column. Transient voltages differ from voltage swells and voltage sags by being larger in mag magnitude and shorter in duration having a steep rise time and being erratic all right next question that we find is noise on an electrical system can be reduced by using filter circuits noise will be found at the very end of the lesson or of the chapter page 190 uh, and filter circuits and, no and or noise suppressors are added to circuits to reduce noise is the very last actual sentence of this chapter. Improper phase sequence is a condition that will cause motor rotation to reverse directions. In a three phase motor, having the wrong phase sequence will make it spin the other direction. All that you have to do is shut the power off and swap two leads, any two leads, and that will reset the, it will change the direction back the way you want. A true RMS meter is required to obtain correct voltage or current readings for a server that has programmable logic controllers. Uh, also, nonlinear loads. Uh, a programmable logic controller is a, is a nonlinear load. Uh, these other linear loads, a resistive heating element is a linear load, and a relay coil, I would almost say that's a nonlinear load, but I would say that it's probably listed as a linear load in this. Next, single phasing. Ooh, that's in bold. That's weird. Uh, single phasing is the operation of a three phase load on two phases, which is a really weird way to say two phases is single phasing. Um, that is actually a section up at the very front of this chapter. Voltage imbalance. Single phasing is on page 157. And it's all right there. Next up, a conductor. So this is a neutral conductor. is a grounded current carrying conductor. You should know this by now. Uh, huh, it's weird that it copied that again. All right. That is it for this. I'm going to see you on the next quiz. Uh, good luck with that. And I will see you in a little bit.